Today I decided to give you guys a review of 2023's The Super Mario Brothers movie. Based on the classic video game franchise and starring Chris Pratt as our titular hero Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, Keegan-Michael Key as our lovable Toad, and Seth Rogen for some reason as Donkey Kong. This is actually the second attempt by Hollywood to make a Mario Brothers movie because there was also the live-action film Super Mario Brothers, released in 1993, starring Bob Hoskins, John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper, and of course Samantha Mathis. Unlike the original 93 film, which is infamous, this new film actually was very successful and was the only film in 2023, at least so far, to make a billion dollars whereas the original was a flop. So without further ado, I figured I'd give you guys my review of the film. Starting off with the positives. All in all, I'd have to say that Illumination, the studio that made this movie, who also did the Despicable Me films, which I've never actually seen, did a damn good job with this movie. This is a beautiful film. The, gra the animation is purely amazing. It's bright, it's colorful. There's no complaints that I have visually of this movie. It's absolutely top-notch, and it's hard to believe this film only costs around, I think, $100 million. The colors are vibrant, the animations are smooth, it's just a good-looking movie all around. So another positive about the film is that the humor is actually on point. I found myself actually laughing quite a few times during the film, which I was kind of surprised by, because the trailers didn't really leave me laughing much, but thankfully they left all the best gags for the actual movie. I also really enjoy the story. It basically shows Mario... And his brother starting a plumbing business when they happen to come across the Mushroom Kingdom during a plumbing job. And they get transported to the magical land where hijinks and shenanigans ensue. It's a really good premise. Jack Black was the best part of the voice cast, I feel. And did an amazing job as Bowser. Really changing his voice up just enough to sound like Bowser. But you can still tell it's Jack Black. And he really does have fun with the role. And it's probably the best character in the movie. Also, King and Michael Key did a great job as Toad. I couldn't really tell it was him. And he was really funny and has probably some of the best laughs of the film. The film also has some really good action in it. And several references to other Nintendo and Mario games from the past. As well as many really fun references to video gaming in general. If you like video games or love Mario or Nintendo... You're probably going to love this movie just for the references alone because they're really well done here. So before I move on to the negatives, I'm going to talk about some of the mixed aspects I have of the film. And mainly, I'm more of a positive and negative kind of guy. But this film had a few aspects that I didn't hate, but I didn't love either. So we'll start with the obvious one, which is Princess Peach. In most of the video games, not all, but most of them, Mario has to rescue Peach. And in more recent years, it's become, people have kind of looked down on, you know, a male character saving the female character. It's seen as like a trope, and it makes the female, I guess, seem like a damsel in distress. But I don't really feel that way. Like, take Star Wars, for instance, the original. They rescue Princess Leia from the Death Star in that film, but you don't see Princess Leia as helpless or less of a character. She's just in a situation that she's over her head in. And she needs some help. And here, I figured they were going to have the princess be captured. And Mara and Luigi would have to work together to rescue her. While she, you know, maybe tries to rescue herself. Or, you know, has some other sort of task to overcome. But no, instead, Luigi's the one that gets captured. And Peach has to teach Mario everything he knows so that he can save Luigi. And I just felt that's kind of like a mishandled way to, to go about the story. It made still made for a good movie, don't get me wrong. But I prefer Peach from the video games. That might work for some. For me, eh, it felt kind of mishandled. Another mixed aspect that I have is Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. I'm not a fan of Seth Rogen. I never really have been. I think some of his movies are okay, but I feel his Donkey Kong portrayal is just kind of lazy. He's just doing the Seth Rogen voice. He's not even trying to sound like Donkey Kong in any sort of way. Not really changing his voice up. And he's just not that great in the film. He's not terrible, mind you, but I would have cast someone, you know, maybe beefy or something maybe maybe vin diesel would have made a good donkey kong i don't know but i think that's a bit miscast but other than that i think everyone else did a good job voice wise on to the negative aspects of the film and really there's not many i actually rather really enjoy the film like i said i do i don't love how they handled peach in the film but she still is a likable and enjoyable character and i didn't care for the voice acting of donkey kong 
I guess the only really thing that I could say as a negative is that I would have liked to have seen maybe more Nintendo characters, but that's not even really a negative. I would have liked to have seen Yoshi, who does make a little brief appearance, and I think maybe I would have liked to have seen maybe a few more little characters from the games, but there's really not much in terms of negatives. All in all, I'm going to give Super Mario Brothers an 8 out of 10. It's damn near a 9, it really is, but I do think they could have probably been a little more inventive with the story. You know, it is pretty basic, but it really works for this story. Mario's never really had that deep of a story. And I think they do a pretty decent job here. Very entertaining through and through, and one that I highly recommend. That's my review of the Super Mario Brothers film. I absolutely do love Mario, and one of my favorite games of all time is Super Mario 64. I love and adore Mario Kart, and this film actually features a lot of Mario Kart stuff, which is really great. And there's been several great games throughout, you know, the years, such as Sunshine, which is amazing. Odyssey, which you gotta love, and who can forget the new triple pack on the Switch, which features 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. Great game, by the way. If you love those games, I do recommend it. I do thank you all for watching. This has been a fun review to do, and I have a Mission Impossible review coming up soon for the new Mission Impossible film, and I'll have that to you guys as soon as I can make the video and edit and everything. But also, since we reached 350 subscribers, I'd like to give you guys a digital download code for the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's first come, first serve, whoever gets it. So here you go. And there it is. You got it. All right. And it's gone. I thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. It's crazy. We got to 350 subscribers, and that is just... Amazing. Hopefully add more editing and better production value soon. I do plan on getting a camera and a mic soon, so that might be pretty interesting. But until then, I just thank you all, and peace out.